Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Pop-Up Craft Challenge at the Ajax Public Library. Great to have everybody back after our summer hiatus. I hope everybody's excited to get making again. Um, so just a quick explanation of how the Pop-Up Craft Challenge works for anybody who has not done it before. This works a little differently from our other craft programs like Friday Maker Night. Um, so with other craft programs, we give you a set of instructions and we all try to make the same thing. But with the Pop-Up Craft Challenge, instead, I give you a theme or an idea and you just find whatever craft supplies you can around your house and try to make whatever you can think of that fits the theme. So if our theme was flowers, you might look around your house for tissue paper or um, for paints and try to make flowers out of those things. The other special thing about the Pop-Up Craft Challenge is that it's actually a contest. So if you take a picture of your creation and you share it with us either on social media using the hashtag APLCraftChallenge or you email it to me, uh, then we will enter you into our draw for a fun craft prize. So details on that are on our website at ajaxlibrary.ca slash events. Uh, you'll be able to find the pop-up craft challenge there and the rules for entering. Uh, and I'll give you some details today as well. So this month's theme for our pop-up craft is apple of my eye. So in the fall, some of us probably go apple picking, right? I know I do every year. Uh, and some of us might also bring apples to school for our teachers, though maybe not right now. Uh, basically, apples are just a fun fall fruit, and I would love to see what you can make that has to do with apples. So I'm going to make an example today to show you guys an idea of one apple related craft that you could make. But remember, mine is just an example. I don't want you to do exactly what I'm doing. Um, the idea is definitely for you to come up with your own spin on the apple theme. But that being said, I'm going to show you what materials I'm using to make my craft today. So my first material is a pair of scissors. I will also be using two sheets of construction paper, one that is brown and one that is red. I will be using a glue stick. I'll be using some rhinestones. You can see I've got a jar full of them here. I will be using a popsicle stick. I've got this beautiful green one here. And I will be using a roll of tape. So question before I start, what kind of apple do you think I'm making? What plan do you think I have for all these materials? Well, I'm going to show you and the first step is going to be to cut out kind of an apple shape from this red construction paper. I chose red because my favorite kind of apple is probably Macintosh apples. They're a little bit red and a little bit green, but to keep it simple, I went with just red. So one good starting place for you to think about when you're trying to plan your own apple craft is what your favorite kind of apple is. If you like Granny Smith apples, you might wanna use green things. If you like red delicious, you could use red like I did. So here's my apple. It's not perfectly round. I'm not worrying about that too much because most apples aren't perfectly round either. My next step is going to be to cut out a little shape from this brown construction paper. I'm gonna to try to have it fit over the bottom of my apple and I'll show you what I mean once I've cut it out. So what are some other things we could think about as we're planning our apple related crafts? Um, for example, what's your favorite kind of thing to make with an apple? Do you like apple pie or apple crisp? Or are there other things that you like to do with it when you eat it? Or maybe there's a story you like that has apples in it, like Snow White, Snow White, right? So that's another idea. I've cut out just kind of a little wavy brown shape, looks a bit like a potato. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is glue it onto my apple. Have you figured out what kind of apple I'm making yet? Here, I'll hold this closer. What do you think? What does this remind you of? So to attach this 
to the apple. I'm going to use my glue stick. Another good thing to think about is what kind of materials you have on hand that you can use to make your apple. Um, so for example, is yours going to be flat like mine, right? Just made out of construction paper. Is it going to be three-dimensional? So do you have anything round and physical like a, like a ball, for example, that you could use to make an apple that you can actually hold in your hand? You could also make an apple tree, lots and lots of options. I'm going to glue mine together here. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> so I've glued my coating onto my apple. And I think I can reveal now, I'm trying to make a candy apple because those are really fun, I think. And what I would like to do with my candy apple before I stick it all together is put some sp sprinkles on it. So I'm gonna take my rhinestones and pretend they are sprinkles. So I'm going to put a lot of glue onto the coating part of my apple, the brown part, and then I'm gonna sprinkle some on. These may not stay very well because they're, they're made of, of kind of a metal material and those don't always stick very well when I'm just using a glue stick, but I'll just do this to give you an idea of what I have in mind here. All right, so lots and lots of glue I've put onto my top section there. And now I'm gonna take out maybe just a handful of these rhinestones. See, whoops, they're falling all over the place. And I'm going to try to stick a couple of them on here, not expecting them to stay very well, but just excited to make something a little bit sparkly, even if it only lasts for a minute. All right, putting away my extra rhinestones. I know you can't see it, but I am. And I'm dropping quite a few on the floor. So here I've got some sparkles or sprinkles, I guess, on my candy apple. And the last thing I need is a stick to hold it with. So I'm sure you can guess, I'll be using my popsicle stick and I'll be using my tape to attach the popsicle stick. That first piece of tape is not very sticky. So I'm gonna take another one and, oh, beautiful. Ta-da, here is my candy apple. So what do you think? Does it look a lot like a real one? Maybe, maybe not. It's fun to look at anyway, either way. So now it's your turn. Take these ideas that we've talked about today, these questions that I've asked you, and try to think of your own spin on the apple theme. What kind of apple you're gonna make or apple treat or apple tree? Uh, all kinds of options. And as I said, if you would like to be entered in our draw to win our crafting prize, all you need to do is make your craft, take a picture of it, and either email it to me or share it with us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram using the hashtag APLCraftChallenge. Uh, and again, you can find more details on that on our website if there's anything you are confused about. So it's just about time for me to sign off, but thank you for coming, everybody. Good luck, have fun, and happy crafting. I hope we'll see you next month on October 17th for our next pop-up craft challenge, Black and Orange. Bye for now.